Uh, we're going to list, uh, uh, like I said, Hunter Renfro's out of the game. Uh, we'll have Trent Brown listed as questionable with a knee. Um, but we're anxious to uh, get on the plane again for the 44,000th mile today. Uh, but I'll answer any questions that I can. Did Trent go today? Did no, he did not. He took part in a walkthrough. Um, but he is going to be listed as questionable. What about uh, Marcus? Is he questionable? He practiced. No, he's uh, he's ready to go. Yeah, we're, we're taking him off the, the list. Has Trent been sort of having to manage this throughout the last yeah. few weeks? Yeah, he has. Yep. Yes, he has. And we've d done everything we can to help him manage it, and we'll continue to do that. Is uh, Gafford someone you can use right away on special teams or? Yeah, there's a possibility he'll, he'll be up. Uh, we still have to look at uh, how many receivers. Um, we've been carrying five. Uh, which five will be determined here in the next couple hours? You mentioned a few times about uh, how much you like Arrowhead as a venue. Why? What's so cool? What's so great about it? Uh, I just I like the old school stadiums personally. Nothing against these new ones. Yeah. They're 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 fantastic. It's just a lot of history there. A lot of memories I have there. Some of my uh, for my first game I ever coached was there. It didn't go well, but some of our, our best wins that, that I was ever associated happened there. And I just love passionate football people, and that place is, is full of them, you know. So it's, it's just a cool place to play. And if you're a football fan, you should, you should try to get there and see a game. Uh, they were without Tyreek Hill in week two when you saw them. It sounds like he's going to be able to play outside. Just what sort of uh, extra dimension does he add to that offense when he's in? We'll see. You know, we're worried about all those guys, you know, but we're going to give it everything we have. You know, we got a lot of respect for Hill and Watkins and all of those receivers. Kelsey, you can name, you can keep naming them. Uh, the, the rookie from Georgia is playing extremely well. The other guy hurt us bad. Uh, you know, they're, they're a very talented team. But they, in that game, I guess they, they scored the four times. They never got in the red zone. Oh, they were all outside the red zone from when they scored on. Is it? The key with Mahomes, like trying to get the 10 plus play drives, if that's what's going to, that's what it's going to be. I'm surprised take. the NFL hasn't changed the rule and given them, uh, you know, like a three point shot. You know, they, they, they score outside the red zone, they get uh, eight points. You know, they're capable of, of, of really making big plays. So um, we've got to minimize that or, or we won't win the game, that's for sure. But um, they're explosive. They're going to be fresh too. They're coming off a bye, and um, we know we're going to get. Uh, a fired up crowd with uh, first place on the line. You mentioned a couple of days ago that everybody here kind of uh, takes a little bit personal just seeing like, the rushing numbers in the last few weeks. Uh, is it going to be more important, you feel like, this week to, to sort of establish that? Fast yeah, it's game? always important, you know. Too many people, I think, today watch statistics, you know. We never used to have these conversations about rushing stats and QB rating and all this bull. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to hand the ball off to Josh in critical situations, and we're counting on it.